the day while I'm sort of doing it um, because um, I'm sort of getting more comfortable with the look that I've sort of been working on for every day. This is not like a fancy made up eye or anything. It's just a slightly enhanced eye. Something to make me feel better as I head out the door. I'm just finishing um, buffing in my foundation. Um, I do find as I've gotten older that I like to wear foundation just about every day but I mean obviously excuse my phone that's not something that you need to do <laughs> if you have nice skin you can go with just a primer or you can go with just um, a tinted moisturizer or if you can get away with just powder um, but I've found that I have so many more imperfections in my skin now and I I just feel more comfortable wearing a light foundation um, Today I am wearing the Chanel Vita Lumiere um, in Soft Bisque, which I have buffed in with my um, Angled Kabuki Sigma F84 brush. It's a beautiful brush. I love this brush. Um, I am also wearing um, primer underneath. I'm, I am wearing um, Chanel LeBlanc de Chanel, um, which you can see here, I hope. Um, but any primer will do. Primer helps even out your skin tone, um, helps your foundation sort of work better, um, stay on longer. Um, I'm also a big fan of Makeup Forever's HD High Definition Primer. They have it for all kinds of issues. The green one is good for um, lots of stuff, including um, redness. But there's, there's, I think there's like six or seven in the range. So whatever you, you know, feel like your main issue is with your skin. It's a really easy step right before your foundation that you can um, do to sort of just make yourself feel better about the way your skin looks in general. Um, okay, so for my eyes, um, I haven't started wearing too much concealer. Something I do use, but I f I'm working on the concealer thing because I feel like I have some really dark circles that I need to deal with. But I do use the Eclat Lumiere by Chanel um, highlighting pen. There are a lot of different highlighting pens out there. So far, this is my favorite. Um, I use it just in a C. I, there are a lot I haven't tried, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But I use it just as in a C around um, sort of the inner corner of my eye to highlight the inner corner of my eye and bring that out. This is in number 30, Beige Rose. The idea is to highlight the inner corner of your eye and bring it out rather than trying to conceal dark circles to sort of dry, draw attention to other areas of your eye so that um, you know the eye gets drawn to those areas rather than to your dark circle areas. I don't know. I, don't know. I think it might work. I bought it, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> um, okay. Um, as a whole base, for my eye today, I'm going to use um, a MAC paint pot. Looks like this in number, not number, in Nubile. Um, it looks like this. It's creamy. It goes on deliciously on your whole eye. So you put that on your whole eye, giving it, you know, sort of more of an even texture, even color around your whole eye. And any eyeshadow that you choose to put on top of that is going to be, it's going to stick better, it's going to have a better texture, it's just in general going to look better to have it, um, sort of the whole base under there. Um, you can put a primer on underneath that again. I'm kind of using this as my primer today and as I'm looking I see my eyebrows need serious plucking. I hope you can't see it too much. So that's that and then I'm not going to do a whole lot with my eye today um, but I do like to give myself a little bit of eyeshadow a little bit of sort of enhancement for my eye um, one of my new favorite favorite brushes is um, the Sigma E30 pencil brush it looks like this it's got quite a stiff brush head and it's just easier for me to apply because I have quite a tiny area to apply um, any dark color on or any 
color at all really for it and have it still look reasonable so I'm not gonna go too dark today I do have a lot of nice darker shades at the moment but I'm going to go sort of a taupe this is one of my favorites at the moment it's Cairo by NARS and I use it just to give myself a little bit of definition in what in most normal people who don't have hooded eyes would be my crease. So I'm going to put it in here just to give myself a little bit more of a crease than um, I sort of naturally do. And blend that in and see the color, the taupe color just goes really, really nicely with the nubile. It's a really sort of natural color. And I I like the natural color. It's easier for me to deal with the natural color when it comes to my hooded eye just on an everyday basis. And I also think, you know, for everyday the neutral colors just make you look a little younger, I think. Um, then if you try to go overly made up during the daytime when you're old, older, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I sort of feel that way. So that gives me a little bit more of a crease. Excuse me, <laughs> my voice just sort of disappeared. A little bit more of a crease than I normally um, would have um, without sort of the darker color. And I'm gonna blend it out with this. It's a um, E45, Sigma E45, which I also love. It's much softer than the one I used to apply. And so I can sort of blend it out without sort of, without it sticking exactly where I was, but it's tapered so it doesn't like go whoosh everywhere. There. And then I'm gonna use this again because I like just a tiny bit of shimmer on the inside corner of my eye, even if I don't do my whole lid. I do quite like a light color on my whole lid, lower lid too, but not for every day. So, oh, I forgot to tell you what I'm using. This is um, Fresh Ice, which is in Max Glitter and Ice Holiday Collection. I just really, really like um, the shimmer that it gives in the inside corner of my eye. Can you see that? tiny bit of shimmer in there so you really don't need a lot of product but but taking the time to actually do a few different colors on your eye does contour it better um, I'm not gonna do anything on my under eye today sometimes lately I have been doing a little bit of a line with a brush um, under my eye. But today I'm going to use the Illusoir, which is in the Illusion d'Ombre um, by Chanel. I love this stuff. This stuff is like amazing. So I'm just going to use a little, um, little liner brush to get a little bit of that on the... This has a lot of shimmer. It's just gorgeous. I love this stuff. I also have it in black if you want to be more, you know, dramatic. And I'm just putting that along my lash line and just a tiny bit right in the outside corner here just to bring it sort of together with the top of the eye. See that? So This is a lighter liner than I have been used to using lately. But, um, I don't know, I, I really like the color. It's a beautiful color, a beautiful shimmer, and you don't really need that much of sort of a line in order to define your eye like that. Once again, I'm gonna skip curling my eyelashes, although 
I have been told that's a no-no. I only have the Sephora curler. I've been told to get the shoe and wear, so it's on my wish list. So <laughs> but um, I'm going to use Bad Gals Plum um, Mascara. The brush on this is like so luxurious and huge. I love that it's not black, um, but it's rich and luscious and gorgeous. I love, don't get me wrong, I love black mascara, who doesn't? But sometimes for daytime and for running errands, I feel like black just gives me too much of a dramatic look. So I like to um, wear something that's, you know, a little bit lighter. It also tends to bring out my eye color a little better. I hope you're not cringing at all the hairs that need plucking on my eyebrows in this light. I'm so excited. Tomorrow, twilight. Duh. So excited. I'm going for the housewife showing at 11. <laughs> um, maybe I'll do a housewife confessional on my way to the movies. Um, or maybe I'll do a housewife confessional sort of review on my way to the movies. A lot of people don't understand why an independent woman likes something like Twilight. Um, a lot of people dis... I'm going to do a confessional. I've decided. I'll do it tomorrow. Release it sometime this weekend. I promise. So... I have a few favorite blushes at the moment. Um, today, ooh, today we're going in with the Amazonian clay doll face. Are we? We can go a little pink today. We can go a little pink to go with that. To go with the bad gal, I think. And to finish off, um, one of my favorite lipsticks at the moment. I think this is in all of my, um, actually it's not to finish off. I'm going to go with Temptress, which is Revlon Super Lustrous. earrings obviously um, and perfume today I'm going with yours addict um, and then if this is not in my November favorites there's something wrong with me or I forget or something this is Tarte's emphasize which is an inner rim brightener and you put it on your inner rim and it takes away all that redness on your inner rim. All that makes your tired looking eye. And there we go. Really, really simple eye. So simple, not totally made up, but makes a really huge difference. Makes you feel a lot better. Um, yeah. I hope that helped. I hope you liked it. That's my face of the day. Bye.